What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. In today's video we got the Haba VTT2 Extreme with the TP motor. What we're gonna do today is uh this is not completely built yet, but we do got everything in there. Uh soldering is done, everything is done, just everything needs to be set. But we came back with a flaw. Um one little issue we had was this motor motor here. This motor here it moves, okay. My couple of motors we destroyed me, my friend, because this motor with all the torque it moves. A lot of people will say it's loose, but let's take a look. Let's tighten this baby up, okay? If we tighten this baby up with all the torque, the motor still moves since it's so long, it still moves. That's gonna destroy your motor. So, we came across a mount called the uh, Iron Man RC mount. Here it is. We're gonna put this baby into this. Check this out. So this is what's gonna go in there, and we're gonna do a full video today. So we're gonna take this whole thing apart, go through it step by step. So first thing is first, we're gonna take this little guy out. We're gonna pull out the motor. Motor's gotta go, and then we will take off the top brace. So we're going to keep things in order and we're going to save things, okay? Because I do not want it to throw out this motor mount, okay? There's our TP motor, 2300 kV. What we're going to do next is the bolts up on the top here. All the bolts. You know what? Let's bring the camera closer. That's more like it. That's more like it. So there's our RC mount here. Iron Man RC mount. So that's what we're going to put in this guy. And this is the motor that we're gonna protect with it so this is everything that we're gonna do here okay anyways let's put this to the side so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by moving the bolt on the upper brace notice this box here this box is originally on the opposite side but my motor hits it so that's the reason why we got it here. So we're gonna loosen these. And I don't wanna do all those turns by hand. Yeah, we just strip one ball there. Ah, oh, yeah, they're strong. Bolts is locked in. Nothing that we can't remove. Go. So this baby is going to sit right there since this is connected to it. Now we need to just spin sitting for a while on my shelf. So in the bottom, we got a couple of bolts in the bottom which are not so easy to take off. One, two, three. Four, five, and things are gonna just start to fall apart on the opposite side. I'm gonna just hold it. There's our bolts. Let's put this baby just like that. There it is. That's all the bolts that came out of there. And our drive shaft. I do got tubing in here, which I was not happy with. So this is one. And. We're gonna have to take this apart to get this piece out because um, we do need the spool. So let's save this bolt here. So we do need the spool. So a lot of thread locking. Or does it just come out? I think it just comes out of there. Yep. Yep. It comes just bang on it, comes right off. So there it is. Spool is 
They're all built. So what we're going to do here is we are going to take our mount here. So we're going to, this is the mount. This is what we're going to be working with right now. So as we go along, this is where the motor slips into. So we're going to need a base and a base. This is the whole mount here. So what we're going to do here is, so this mount is going to sit in this position just like that. So this baby goes in just like that. Okay, I'm sorry. It goes in. just want to get this correct so I don't mess it up. So this goes like that. This goes in like that. This has to be the inside. Okay, so we're a little bit off. Okay, now I get it. Now I get the problem. This baby sits on this back end. That's the only thing that was that confused me a bit. Okay, so we're gonna get this bearing in there. Then we'll, we'll worry about this. So bearing is not going in flush. Make sure it's nice and clean. So this goes in. It's gotta go in there. There you go. A few taps. Okay, you just don't want to bend the bearing. So a few little soft taps that will take care of that. And this goes here. And how this is gonna go is magically, it is gonna have to sit in that manner. Okay, so this is how our mount is gonna sit, just like that. Since so my motor is this side, so I, let me just get rid of these tubings. I do not want any of these tubings. Okay, I will leave that one in. Okay, and. Uh, I want this tubing out of here. So the reason why I want the tubing out of here is just making things stiff. I'd rather just let it be free, you know. A lot of people say it's a good idea to have. Um, I will try that down the road. But this tubing gotta go. This is the tubing that I was using. I think just a little too much. So if you want to do want to put tubing in, just try to um, go a little bit less. The thing was I, I noticed how this it needs to be free, okay? If it's stuck to one angle. It's gonna give you trouble. So let's do this. Let's put this baby right in here. Okay. There you go. So that sits really nice there. So I think you see this? The tubing will eliminate this, okay? So why not? You know what? Why not we put a small little piece on one only on this rear on the rear end here. Once that is straight in there, let's see how this feels about it. I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna get this in now. There you go. Okay, so there it is. So what I learned here was uh, if we take this right now and we put this here, this is gonna hold our base mount everything together. So why don't we just switch it around so you guys can see clear picture of this mount. So we're going to take these bolts, just don't cross thread them. So what this is going to do is it's going to hold everything in place for me. So when I work in the bottom, nothing moves around, nothing wiggles around. There it is. One here. You guys probably see a lot of videos on my channel. I'm always doing something, always active. There you go. It still got a little wobble to it, but that's what I want. I just don't. I just don't want to eliminate some of it. There it is. My antenna needs its uh, cover as well. So little bit of things you might not see on my channel, but everything just goes in where it belongs. Okay, so this is. There you go. So I'm not gonna tighten these yet. That will be the last part, hopefully. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. There you go. You see how that held everything in place for me? That's what I wanted. Everything to be held in place. So we got a whole bunch of bolts in this box. 
Oh, let's see. You can use the original bolts, but I, I don't like to mess with. I like to use the bolts that it gives you because sometimes the threading is not the same. Okay, but if you need to, you can use the other ones. Just make sure your threading's good. It matches, the threading matches. But if it doesn't, you don't want to strip it. I've seen my, some of my friends strip them out. Then they go back to the hobby shop. Oh, you sold me the wrong stuff. No, buddy, you wanted to go stainless steel. You put in the wrong bolts. tighten these so let me grab my tool here what is it one two three four five <coughs> okay my cough is not going away it's been a while okay I just want to lock up all these bolts now are tight now the hard part taking off this one because I put thread lock on this babies let's see if they come off oh yeah they're coming off this was another problem with these uh, the motor mount design here I had to drill to fit this motor I had to drill the hole, the outer diameter, and the inner diameter to fit these bolts onto this guy. So that was another issue, but we got this, now we got this mount here, which you could put a big, small motor, it, it, it's adjustable. It, it could go to different positions, okay? So, just find the position that you want it at. So I want my motor to be, okay, I want my motor to be sitting like that. So what we're going to do here is, they give you a lot of bolts here. Okay, I won't worry about thread locking them later on. First, I just want to see if they fit to the spot that I want them at. So they give you every single bolt that you need here. the second bolt so you probably don't even need to thread lock them because we do have thread lock inside that motor so make sure you don't damage the motor make sure your bolts doesn't go through and break the winding of the motor there you go <coughs> that feels good so they do give you a whole bunch of tools so I uh, just want to point things out here a few things so you have um let me just get, I just don't want to drop anything. So we do have this little guy that's gonna go on top of the motor mount. So we do have one bolt, two bolt, and we got we got some extra bolts here. So over here, we need to figure out, there's, they give you two of these, okay? Depending on the size that you're gonna use. Um, how this works is, this little guy, the chrome washer goes on this, okay? And then this baby goes right in here and home washer goes in and then you're gonna stick your motor in and hopefully this butt doesn't bother me which is gonna bother me okay I can never no problem so we got our motor mount going in there and we can stick with if you want to use a long one you can use this big one here it's all up to you so I think this little one should be just fine for me and once this is in Look at this, we can adjust the motor here, just like that, simple as that. See that? 
Now what we need to do here is there's this grub screw here with the hole in the middle and there are two one and two dark colored washers they go in there so they need to, I need to drop them so I need to hold this up straight like that drop them in there and after that the grub screw goes on top as long as those washers don't fall we're good if they fall then I'm screwed and then they give us a second Allen here and the Allen goes in so what you do here is okay now this is this grub screw what it does is it locks the bolt now you cannot just this bolt in the motor will not move from its position <coughs> excuse me so what you do is you back up the grub screw a bit then you put your Allen in and then you should be able to adjust the motor in out in out whatever you like okay and that's how simple that is and then you have these two long bolts that sit on top of this and we got our Ironman mount so there's whole but this one two three four slots in there okay there's four holes uh, depending on how far your motor needs to go you could just select the two that you want depending on your gearing and everything and once your mesh is good okay this doesn't this that does fit there but I don't know why it's not going in I'll use my own here this is not the one this is the one so this little guy okay so this is what tightens up at the end you lock that up lock the grub screw up once your mesh is right and you lock up these two bolts and that's it bada bing bada boom we got this extra bolt here we got two extra bolts and uh that's it thank you for watching my video guys and we have successfully um installed the iron man mount and double check all your work i understand my wiring is here but i will strap tight all these so nothing gets hit and our xlx2 is gonna go on this end that'll be the last thing i do anyway guys thank you for watching my video don't forget to subscribe share and like and see you guys on the next one and don't forget to watch my speed runs we do got the fastest x max we do got the strongest x max we do got the, uh, the fastest armor felony and we got a 3s one ten one uh, ten scale one seven one yeah one ten scale a limitless coming up uh, that's gonna be converted from the uh, armor vortex and we're gonna use the original armor body with the splitter and front wing and everything thank you for watching again one thing I wanted to show before we end the video was look at this okay right now the motor is still loose but there's barely any slack okay this is a strong mount you need to get this guys so it it's loose everything is loose but there's barely any movement and that's it this is what you guys need